Oh, I'm so depressed. Look at me. Nobody understands how difficult my life is. I have superpowers, but the only thing I do is kill, consume, kill, consume, kill, consume. This shit doesn't even taste good. I have to do this every single day. No time to play PlayStation. No time to watch TV. Not even enough time to jet. Utahime, could you please turn that shit up? Mei Mei, shouldn't you be focused on the mission? I mean, people are disappearing left and right, and you're worried about music and texting people? Oh my god, you know what, just never mind, just shut the fuck up and drive. So, Utahime and Mei Mei are playing like Luigi's Haunted Mansion, and Mei says split up, and she's creeping through the building. Scary as shit. Why was she on the front lines, man? Like, what is she doing? She's one jump scare away from shitting her pants. Like, come on, man, what is this? Get this 75 overall off the court. But apparently they're inside of whatever monster they're trying to hunt, I, I don't know. But anyway, they get to cooking up a plan, and you know, they're sorcerers, special grade, grade one, whatever. So I know it's some genius shit, let's go. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of work. Anyway, the lord and savior of the Jujutsu Kaisen world shows up with his mans and they all start trolling Udahime. Wait, y'all remember to deal with the veil, right? How fucking stupid can you all be? That was the whole point of me sending you there. Who is responsible? Bitch ass nigga. So now Gojo and Geto are hooping and Geto gets his cookies took and Gojo drives to the lane and lays it up. I'm not gonna lie though, his dribble package is high key weak as hell. Like no behind the back, no cross dribble, no nothing. This nigga went left, dribbling right, and almost smoked the layup. No euro, no two step gather, he just went straight up. That's, that's like the equivalent of having hair on the top of your head and then just shaving the rest where, like, where's the transition? Where's the smoothness? Then he launches the ball at Ghetto and Ghetto tries to have an ideology off, but forget that shit. Look at this whack ass jumper. They are hooping on an extra large size rim and he still can't hit an open shot. Both of these niggas sorry as hell. Anyways, they get assigned to go take this girl right here and merge her with somebody named Tengen. Apparently Tengen needs a new body, so they need to kill her, I guess. But then Yaga says they need to protect her five seconds later so what the hell is the actual mission? I don't know. Hey, so you at the spot? Yeah. Hey, also, Brad, somebody said there's a kickback going on later tonight and all the holes are going to be there. You want to slide or what? I mean, we, we can, but what do we do with the girl? I don't know. We can just leave her at my place. All right, whatever. We'll talk about it. But hold up. I'm about to pick her up right now. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? He rung the doorbell and she got punted across the city? Where is the rest of the information? How did we get here? What's going on? Yo, is that a stern or what anime is this? Yeah, man. It's crazy out here, dog. A lot of money to be made in these streets. So what's good? You gonna go out to the bounty or what? I mean, shit, I guess. Oh, I'm so depressed. Another day of killing, exercising, consuming. Oh my god, life is so horrible. I totally don't have superpowers. Anyway, this tea better not be ass. Why are you watching boat racing? What the fuck does it look like? I need money. Damn, nigga, I, ain't, I didn't know I was like that. Shit. Anyway, you're up against Satoru Gojo. Does that name ring a bell? Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Very well. Glad to hear it. Also, um, how's your son Megami? What the fuck, nigga? How does he know my kid or his name? What the hell? I didn't tell him that shit. Fuck that stupid little nigga. Anyway, they made quick work of these randoms and now they gotta get the girl back. But as soon as she wakes up, she slaps the fuck out of Gojo. If you wanna take me, you're gonna have to kill me. Then she started going on a rant about how Tengen was love and Tengen was life, but Gojo was changing his lock screen. He did not want to be there. He did not care. But then it was revealed that once she merged with Tengen, she was going to lose all her friends and family. So then he was like, fuck, fuck. So 
Sick of this shit. Damn it. But anyway, my man's told you was right here plotting. He told the bookie to leave the bounty up on the little girl for 47 more hours so that everyone who tried Gojo would eventually wear him down. And then he'd come and sleep his ass and then collect his bread, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you made me drop my plate! That's what I thought, bitch. Anyway, it seems like everyone's attempting to attack Rika even while she's at school. Like, that's gotta be mad annoying, I can't lie. Okay, so, if I just hit him with a cursed spirit or a Shikigami, I'm good. I don't know, though, but I wonder what he's thinking about right now. Waste of fucking time. Yeah! What? Impossible. Is this... It is... A Kenjin? I, I thought... But, but this is a Naruto... Nah, bro. This is elder abuse to the umpteenth degree, bro. Do you see how many hits this man got off in the eight-second span? This nigga got him bleeding through the nose, falling down the wall just like he got his heart broken. All while church choir music is playing in the background. That's devious, bro. Anyway, I wonder what Gojo's doing right now. Hey, Dad! Yo, look at the fucking Rizzler right here, dog. And I'm not even talking about Gojo. Look at the teacher. She quieted the crowd, got them off his nuts, and immediately took their place. Look how effortlessly she gave him her number. And the students tried to question that shit, and she was like, "Man, such a bitch ass. So he takes her and runs. And while this Cleveland Browns fan is plotting on her, her maid or bodyguard or something came in and smacked him in the nuts. But after that hit, he ran off on her and caught up with Gojo and got his shit absolutely cooked. Bro, this is actually insane because imagine training for years of your life just to get one-shotted by Steve from Minecraft. Uh, anyway, while that went down, they kidnapped Kuroi, so now Gojo and Geto gotta cook up a plan. But the only way for them to get Kuroi back was to trade Rika for a second round pick and cash considerations. Obviously, we can't do that, so now it's time for a battle, man. Let's go! Um, I, I don't know why they didn't want to show that to us, but apparently they were bots and Gojo cooked them. So now they've gone to Okinawa. Now they're fucking around. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, don't cancel me, but they're low-key treating her like a Make-A-Wish patient. That's tough. Anyway, man, they're all on vacation, having a nice time, smelling the flowers, exploring the area, checking out the fish, man. I'm so happy. What a nice montage. <laughs> One time. I went down to the Gojo clan's crib to see about this kid with blue eyes. That little bitch looked at me funny. I didn't like that. I don't like it now. I never got over it. That's why I stabbed his ass. Somehow he survived that shit though, because in this universe he is God. But he told the others to leave so Rika would be safe. Now they get the shit talking and Gojo gets straight to it. He fires a blast at him but Toji dodges and then he turns into fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. But Gojo says be gone! But Toji tanked that shit so Gojo cleared out the map so he could see him. But Toji sent these bugs to distract him and then fucking filleted his ass with maximum speed and efficiency. Anyway, while that was happening, they got Rika to the merging point or whatever. And then she starts realizing what's about to go down, and she starts having second thoughts about this life shit, you know? You know, she was in her head like, You know, maybe life is worth living. I, I got to see the ocean, and the fish, and I made so many friends, I, I realize that I want to experience all that life has to offer. So, for that reason, I want to live! <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Dumbass niggas. Should have used your fucking mats. Why are you here? Isn't it obvious, bro? I I, I killed your mans. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of crazy. He did all that chopping with the sword, and instead of just doing some cool shit to finish the job, he just fucking bopped her shit. Like, look now, he's even fighting a dragon, and, and he's still emptying the clip. I, I know he's evil, but dare I say, is this a real nigga? Anyway, I can't lie, this shit kind of weak to me, because like, he just murked Rika in front of him, and slept his mans, and they're in the building having a walk-off. What is this? All right, maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. Now he's throwing the arsenal at him. Went from hitting his ass with Spirited Away and then Star Wars. But my man's right here is literally Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at how quickly he dodged this shit. But Ghetto finally sees an opening though and prepares to end his shit. But Toji turns him into a location for Pirate's Treasure and then kicks the shit out of him. And then walked over to his supposed corpse and kicked his head again for extra disrespect. Jujutsu Sorcerer is down 3-0 in less than like five minutes. is actually fucking insane. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Well, that was pretty easy. Wait a minute. I do have a son. 
Anyway, he took Rika and delivered her to the bounty setter who apparently wants to eliminate all sorcerers or something, I don't know. But after that, Toji and his man chop it up after the job is done. And then they part ways and he's heading back home and then... What the... What, how the fuck are you alive? I'm not gonna lie to y'all, is this some bullshit? Yes, but I ain't about to say nothing because it looked cool. Toji thought that man was off the loud, and I'm not gonna lie, he does look like he just hit a line of the white stuff. But anyway, intoxicated or not, he's still Weave Gang. Red! Toji was hitting his classic, this is just getting started, rant. And then he was getting ready to attack Gojo, but then Gojo was like, Am I that nigga? Yo, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Anyway, while Gojo was tweaking off the shrooms, he started speaking to Toji in the past tense because he knew that shit was over. Purple! Turn that bitch ass nigga to a donut. No bones, no nothing. He couldn't do nothing but accept that shit. That's real. Any last words, my nigga? Uh, shit. I mean, I got a kid. They're gonna sell him to my bitch ass family. Help a nigga out, I guess? I don't uh, know. Yeah, sure. What's his name? Yo. Yo. Oh, shit, he's dead. Uh, anyway, Ghetto survived and walked in on Gojo walking with Rika's corpse, and he was like, Bro, should we kill these niggas? No, we shouldn't. It's not right. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Let's go. So now one year has passed, and it seems like everyone's moved on from the situation, but Shoko and Ghetto are helping Gojo refine his technique. But for some reason, Ghetto is still on that weird shit, like, but I, I guess he never truly got over the whole situation, which is kind of understandable considering she got murked like right in front of him, but now he's back on his emo shit. This nigga is so busy turning into a racist that he doesn't even realize his water is still running. That bill is gonna be high as shit at the end of the month, bruh. Anyway, my mans was mad depressed, he was trying to have ideology offs with everybody he could see, but nobody was trying to have that shit. What kind of women do you like? Uh, so this girl is Yuki, and she sits down with Ghetto, and they finally have the ideology off that he had been fiending for for like the past couple of days. I don't know how much time had passed throughout the episode, I don't know. I hate Jujutsu High. How a whole sorcerer versus non-sorcerer world works. It's extremely corrupt, and we shouldn't have to do this. We're being used for our abilities, and it's not fair at all. Yeah, we need to execute every last one of those monkeys. All they do is cause trouble for people like us. What purpose do they serve in our society? Um, I was talking about jujutsu sorcerers. What were you talking about? Uh, sorcerers. Yeah, sorcerers. Anyway, after that conversation, Ghetto finally just decides to join the dark side, so he just executes some random people for no reason. But after that, he goes to meet Shoko, and this enabler allows him to just freely wander the streets of Shinjuku after he just executed 142 people. Mind you, when you really think about it, this one action resulted in everything that's happened so far in the story, so all of this could have easily been avoided if she just did her fucking job. It's a shame, man. A lot of anime worlds are fucked up because one person chose to take the day off or some shit like that. But anyway, Gojo and Ghetto have an ideology off, and even though Gojo wins that shit, Ghetto hit him with like a heavy ass question or something and then left the conversation, which is like the equivalent of taking the lead in Madden or 2K or something like that and then quitting immediately after. So even though he lost the argument, he technically won because he got like the last word in, I guess. Anyway, he walked off and he told Gojo to pull the trigger, but Gojo said the lights was too bright. So you know what happens? Some random 15-year-old gets put through complete agony across a 235-chapter span because these two didn't enforce the law. I hate it here. Bye.